today's video, I've got these two. These are a superb alternative to your Joy-Cons, and this is a superb alternative to the Pro Controller. So join me as we do a first look and feel of both of these in Tom Nook Brown and both of them from Stoga Game. Hello and welcome to Console Accessories. As we said in the introduction, we're going to be looking at these two today. We're going to do a first look and feel of these. These are alternative to your Joy-Cons. And we're also going to be looking at this. So this is a really good Pro Controller alternative. Now, you may have seen videos on this already. So I wanted to give you my take on it. Um, so stick around. So we're going to do that afterwards. But first of all, we're going to be looking at these. Now, the reason we're going to be looking at these is I have already done a video. I will link above there of where you can get a more in-depth look at just these. I've got them here. So we had a look at these two. These are superb. I use these every day whenever I'm using my Switch. I think these are far better for me than the original Joy-Cons that come with the Switch. Um, okay, so we'll leave them there because I just wanted to show you comparison to here. So we're gonna do a first look and feel of these two, which means we're just gonna unbox it and then we're gonna go around and have a bit of a feel with it. And then if we think so, um, after about six months or so, we'll do a catch up video just to see if there's any things like, uh, like Joy-Con drift or anything like that, because Joy-Con drift is an issue, but it doesn't rear its head straight away. So in the first look and feels, we don't really mention things like that. So here we go. It's a Joypad for the Switch. Uh, model C25 apparently. Um, it's turbo mode, double vibration, wireless connection, motion sensor, and macro button. And then on the side, bit of branding either side, and then a bit of gump on the back all about it. Okay, so when you unbox it, what you get, so here they are. You get two Joy-Cons, with a plastic in, get a USB and you get a manual. Um, you will need the manual because there's some bits and bobs that you need to work out, so you need to keep that. Okay, so here we are. Now, as we said, they're in Nook Brown, so they are along the style of looking like Tom Nook. I, 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 I think the color's lovely, I really do. So let me do straight away a comparison. They are identical, okay? Identical to the ones we've seen before. And as you'll see on Amazon, if you go and have a look around, there are quite a few different versions of this, so it's really picking the colour you want. And I think if you're a Tom Nook fan, then why wouldn't you be getting these? Okay, so let's pop them on the Switch. As with the others, a really nice click when they come onto the Switch. Now, going over it, thumbsticks, as you know, D-pad, uh, screenshot, home, minus, and plus, and then X, Y, A, and B, and your nice big triggers there. Really nice. And the main thing about these are they're really comfortable really comfy these bits here are superb absolutely superb i love these joy cons because they just feel so good and i've been using the the green and pink one for a while now and i've not had one problem with them i think they're brilliant um the thumbsticks feel fine the buttons the plus and the minus and the screenshot on the home are really clicky these are clicky to a certain extent they really do feel like a, a like a pro um like an original joy con these buttons, they really do. And then as you see down here, macro and turbo. And macro means you can program buttons and turbo means you can hold on button and it'll press press for you. And that will be explained all in that video. So if you go and have a look in that video, there's a much bigger breakdown of these two because I didn't want to go over it over these two again. And then in the box as well, you also get yourself a USB, which is really nice touch. There we go that splits into two there. So, if you are charging it off the switch, there you go. You can charge them at the same time on just one, that plugged in, on just the one USB. There we go. 
So we can see that with the charging, the LEDs flashing up. So really nice, they're really nice that that's included in there so you can charge them at the, charge them at the same time because if it had been just one USB, you'd have to charge one and then the other. But as we said in the other video, that as with all Joy-Cons, they don't charge, they don't charge off the screen. But when you are charging the screen, these will charge up at the same time. So I implore you, go and have a look at the video for the other ones if you want an in in, uh, more in-depth review of them because I think these are absolutely fantastic Joy-Cons and I think in this colour really sets it off, especially if you're Animal Crossing fans, absolutely. Okay, so that's that one done. Now also what we're going to be looking at is this. I will spend a little bit more time on this than, than on these. Okay, so here it is. This controller, first impression, look at it. It just looks brilliant. You, if I think even the smallest of um, Tom Nook fans will realize that this is Animal Crossing. Really nice, so it's in Tom Nook Brown, beautiful. So wireless controller for the Switch. We have a turbo mode, dual motors, wireless connection, and motion controls. And then branding on either side, and then a bit of gump about it, which I'll talk to you about as we go through it. Okay. So, unboxing it, here it is. Look at it, look at it. And then in the box, a USB and a manual as before. So the USB is just a single USB because you only need to charge it up with the other one, you get a double one, this is just a single one. Okay, so first things first, if you haven't noticed already, I wanted to talk to you about the, the size of it. It is quite small. I think these ones in particular, certainly the ones, because if you look at Amazon, there's loads of different colors of variations of this. I think one of the other popular ones is a Snorlax version, but this I think is much better with the with the, um, the Tom Nook colors. But there are other colors. I know Stoic Game do other colors for this as well. Again, I'll link below where you can get them, of all different colors, but this one is kind of like the, the Animal Crossing themed. And I think it looks really, really nice. But look, the size of it. Okay, so I've got, I've not got particularly big hands, I've got adult hands, and look, I can wrap my hands all the way around it, like really around it. Okay, so let me compare it. So this is a regular Pro Controller. If I put them side by side, there we go. Okay, so this controller is 140 grams, and the Pro Controller is 245 grams. So it's 105 grams more. That's probably because it's got a bigger battery. The battery in this physically can't be very big because of the size of the controller. So that's probably where the weight comes from. But as you can see, there's the difference. So there's your, your average pro controller and then this one. Personally, I've not had a problem at all using it. So I've been using it for a few days and I haven't had an issue at all. So going over it, the two thumbsticks, D-pad, minus and plus, screenshot home, and then we have a turbo function, as with these Joy-Cons, but no macro, and X, Y, A, and B. And the turbo function is essentially, you can have it and as three different settings, so you can set the turbo to be on A, and it would press the A five times a second, 12 times a second, or 20 times a second, entirely up to you. And then on the top there, you see these, like, these ear bits here, these are your triggers, that's L and R, okay? L and R, and then you've got these, the triggers here, ZR, ZL, and ZR look at the travel not very much travel on those and not too much on those really nice really nice and then the center as you can see it's flashing there that's for your um that's the one you for your connect two player one two three or four and it will also flash if the battery level is, is getting low and speaking of battery as well it takes two hours to charge and it's 10 hours play time that's about a third of what you get on the pro controller but that doesn't matter because it is a smaller and for me I kind of have it charged anyway. I kind of put it on charge. I, I play it and then when I finish playing, I just charge it up for a bit and leave it. And I, I've never had a problem. I think even think probably five hours, I, every couple of hours I stick on charge. So that's not an issue for me at all. And then on the bottom there, you've got your headset, your 3.5 in there. Okay, so feeling it. I know D-pads are, are a personal preference. So let's start off with the D-pad. It feels okay, so let's grab a let's grab a another Joy-Con here. So this is on. Let's get one. Let's get an original Joy-Con. Okay, so here's Joy-Con here, and I know 
some people like the the dots some people like the cross for me it feels really nice it feels like a nice d-pad to me there's no click it is just a sponge there's no click in there whatsoever and similarly with these buttons it is just a sponge down down and up down and up there's no click to it and with these as well the same no sponge it's all just sponging and the thumbsticks click in okay and they feel nice and I've been playing with it. I haven't experienced any Joy-Con drift. I'm not sure you'd expect Joy-Con drift after a week or so of playing, so I, I don't know. Like I said, first look and feel. In a few months, we'll do a catch-up video for it as well. But it feels nice. Um, but I want to know your thoughts on the sides. What are your thoughts? For me, not had an issue. And certainly for my kids, they, haven't, they didn't have an issue at all. And they absolutely love this controller. Feels nice to play with. Really pleased with it. It is compatible with the Switch and the switch light so there's not an issue there and it's got all the bits and bobs you'd expect with it as it says on the the box it has the um, motion controls so it has motion and what we'll do is we'll jump into a game in a minute very quickly and I'll just show you I will jump into Mario just because it's easier to show you motion controls than, than in Animal Crossing and it has dual motors as well so it's got two motors in here and it has like three levels of rumble so it's like a, like a like a soft and medium and a heavy rumble and you can really feel it the rumble in this is superb it really is good okay so let's fire up and the way you um sync it what i had to do is i had to press this so when we turn the, the joy -Cons, go here joy cons and then if we go to change grip order we're going to try and connect these so it does the searching found it we're in okay what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fire up Mario um, see uh, just to just to show you over the kind of like the motion so here we go so here we go can you see the star there if I get this better there we go okay so can you see the motion there that's not bad at all yeah that feels really good certainly I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and a pro controller and the rumble as well feels really good no lag in the joysticks yeah this feels really good okay so this feels great the only issue I can see with some people is the size for me size isn't a problem at all I don't think for me, I'd have any issues playing with this for a long period of time because it feels nice and comfortable. Got my hands wrapped around there nicely. I think this is great. I think if you're an Animal Crossing fan and you fancy a controller that's a little bit different, this is superb. This can just wang in your bag, easy. And you haven't got to be too precious about it. What I'll do is I'll leave a link below for where you can get all the latest prices for it, for these and for these, okay? So go and have a look at that link and you can see what you think of them. But for me, I haven't got an issue with this and it's much cheaper than a Pro Controller because a Pro Controller, you're looking at about 60, maybe $70, which you can pick up these for around half that. Okay, so there we go. There's your first look and feel of this, the wireless controller for the Switch in Nook Brown and these Joy-Cons. As I said, if you want a much deeper look at these Joy-Cons, go and have a look at the video. I'll put a link down in the description. And we're going to have a look at this after six months or so worth of gaming to see whether it holds up. But first impressions, really nice. I just think the look is stunning and it feels great. Okay, any questions, do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And this has been a look at the Stoker game Joy-Cons and controller in both in Nook Brown. And until the next video, bye-bye.